I get a lot of messages about the shirts. GQ called us the most fashionable football club in the world. It's a pretty cool feeling just knowing that you play for a club who's known as, you know, the most fashionable. We're kind of redefining what it is to be a football club. Venice is an absolutely magical city. It takes a while to get used to, just the, the boats and everything, and, you know, the beautiful city. I'm, I'm not used to something, anything like this, really. There's art, architecture, history, culture, really everything in the world that you could ever think of and want to do is here, compacted into like this little island city, but then also we have a football club. You know, it's an amazing place, no matter where you go here, some is, some is different, buildings are amazing, you always learn something new about the place. We get to every day kind of have this interaction between sport and culture, and I think that's something that really sets us apart from any other club. Our stadium is uh, on the lagoon, so a lot of people can arrive with their boat. I'm a painter, and I think that uh, our palette, the green and orange and black, are the best one. Venezia has a complicated story. At first it was only Venice, so Venezia, and it was founded in 1907. But really, in kind of terms of like the modern era of the club, it started in 1987, and the merging of Venezia and Mestre, so the orange and the green, uniting. Since 2000, Venezia had four promotions, four relegation and three bankruptcies. The club was in shambles, and the bankruptcy after bankruptcy kind of deterred people. So it's been... Uh, a tough journey, actually. È stata un'emozione incredibile, insomma, da appunto partire dalla Serie D e arrivare in così poco tempo alla Serie A. When uh, Venezia play in Serie D, we have uh, like a match with my team because they used to play with the local team, and nowadays uh, I came here to, to see Venezia play with Bologna, with Juventus. It's like a Disney story, you know e poi nel momento in cui è subentrato il presidente Nidrauer l'asticella è stata alzata, prodotto in, in pochissimo tempo e qualcosa di, di fantastico. It looks like a designer football shirt. This shirt is just up. I get the hype and I want it. This year we have four different jerseys, so they all kind of represent something different within the city. We expected them to be popular. I don't think we expect it to be completely sold out in like minutes. I want this. It's sold out. This shirt that everybody wants. We got something in the mail today and I have been waiting a while for this. It was hard for me to get them so you know I knew that it was a you know a sellout all over the world really. I get a lot of messages about the shirts. Friends, family, fans. It's difficult for me still. I keep all mine after games because I want to give them away so. This is the real dream. The fact that it is uh, really international. It's something that never happened before. GQ called us the most fashionable football club in the world. You know off the field it's just pretty cool to you know kind of go around and say you play for the most fashionable club. I really don't care about that. When I say it was great also in the past for his style so I think that uh, one of the best uh, point of strength of Venezia is his style. What matters is what you do on the pitch. Okay, we go to Serie B, but the idea is always to grow and to create this global brand that we never had before. I act like we're in Champions League, even though we're not. I think the, the Serie B is more a competition for us where we can compete uh, in a better way. We have to still to fight like Venetian uh, warriors in the past. I'm happy that the team is going forward and I'm pretty confident it's going to be a, a great season next year even in, in Serie B. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.